Hello, I'm uh, Thomas Kastner, the co-founder of Flash PCB, and today I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss teardrops with you and show you how to add teardrops to your design in KiCad. So let's switch over to the screen and have a look at a board. All right, so this is a board that I designed on a live stream. It's a 555 timer with some LEDs here again. And so I'll show you how to add teardrops at first, and then we'll discuss a little bit why and some of the little hiccups you can have with KiCad when you add teardrops. So to add a teardrop, all you do is simply go to Tools, Add Teardrops, and you can select the styles that you'd like, the length and the height, for each type of teardrops, whether it's going to a through hole from a trace, a rectangular shape, or a track to track. So you're going from a wide track to a narrow track. So for now, let's just put both in the straight lines. We'll add these, and we'll go look at the teardrop down here. So this is a trace that's going from the output of our 555 timer into the gate of our FET. And you'll see that there's a trace on the bottom layer going into an annular ring on the bottom layer, through a plated through hole, or V in this case, and then up into a trace on the top, annular on the top layer, and then a trace on the top layer. So the reason you want to add these uh, teardrops is that there can be misalignment between those layers. So the top and the bottom layer and the drill layer can all be slightly misaligned, and you'll have issues where there's not going to be a good connection between the trace and the annular ring itself. To demonstrate that, I create a little um, shape that's about the same, uh, circle that's about the same size as our drilled hole here. And you can see if this drilled hole starts to wander, or see if thermal expansion and contraction to an assembly process, or just uh, misalignment if these are very, very small. And you'll see if we start to cut in this way, we're going to have a poor, without this teardrop, we're going to have a poor connection between this trace and the annular ring here on the bottom. And the same thing happens if we go up here, we're going to have a poor connection between this trace and the annular ring. Now this board's fairly conservative, and these traces are pretty wide, and this annular ring is pretty wide, so I suspect we won't have any problem. But as you get into narrower and narrower traces and smaller and smaller annular rings, this becomes more of an issue. The other thing you'll have with these traces is if this is a through hole, or if we're like the service mount pad here, we're doing some kind of soldering operation here, we can have thermal expansion attraction during the assembly process, and that can lead to cracking at this corner or this corner where we have a stress concentration. And this can lead to pads being removed, or cracking in the through hole, um, or cracking in our solder joint. And so for that reason, it's nice to add these teardrops for our very small traces, or very small annular rings. Now, there are a few caveats to this in KiCad. So for instance, if we go over here and let's look at this teardrop here. When you move an element, so say let's move this via, you'll see the teardrop doesn't move with it. So every time you do a move operation or change your design, you're going to have to both re-add your teardrops and refill. So let's look at this teardrop here. I'm actually just going to refill the zones right now. You'll see we this is now bumped out to accommodate this extra teardrop shape, but also the teardrop shape is no longer in the right area. So every time we do a move, when we have teardrops, I recommend doing running your add teardrops tool. And let's have a just a quick look at the curved teardrop here. So you see that's curved now. And then refilling your zones so you don't end up with any kind of problems where we have an overlap between the teardrop and the outside zone, or teardrops are left behind, or teardrops that don't need to be there. And with that, I look forward to seeing your designs with robust teardrops for great mechanical and connections between uh, your plated through holes and vias and your narrow traces, or your service mount pads and your narrow traces. Thank you very much, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below for a blog post that covers this, um, as well as a link down in the description for our newsletter so you can sign up to get updates as we add more and more features to the Flash PCB service.